player who needs to step up the most after the bye? Well, Shanahan's not a player, but I think that's an easy answer. Uh, Mac has to be Alex Mac. I mean, hmm. this offensive line has been not very good, and we were billed as him being the center that was the missing piece. He'd get everybody lined up. He would make a difference on this offensive line, and he has not made a difference at all, in my opinion. I think he's the one that needs to step up most. Fair. Um, I had a different answer. I like what you're saying with Mac. I guess the reason I wouldn't go with him is I don't expect him to. I don't know if he has another gear he can go to at this age. Yeah. But if he does, oof, that'd be great. I have one. And it's maybe it's not fair because he's hurt right now, but he's always hurt. George Kittle. George, what happened to you, man? You used to be a top five player in the league, or at least that was your reputation. And ever since the Super Bowl, like where where have you been? We make such a big deal that Jimmy Garoppolo isn't durable enough and needs to leave town. What about you? You're really expensive, too. You're getting paid like a wide receiver. You're MIA. Uh, if you could come back, I mean, both, both quarterbacks would really appreciate it. And I'm sure Jed York would because he's paying you enough. I don't know. I think... George Kittle needs to show needs to like give the Niners some hope that this isn't going to be the new normal for him. Cause it's starting to look like this is the new normal for George Kittle. He's really starting to take that, that Gronkowski path, isn't he? Remember when, when Gronk had those years Gronk is better than him right now. for sure. He is, he is, but, but right, he also, right. he had to take a full year off to he get did. there. And last he year did. was kind of like a half play and half it's not true. True. I feel like his body's just failing a man. Like it's I, true he may not make it to 30 and that's, right. you know, it's, it's not, yeah. it's not necessarily his fault, but when you play the way that he does that violently and you're willing to block against big defensive ends, it's man, it, it's a tough business. So George, if you, you know, if you have it in you, you have, you're so inclined that Niners would really appreciate it. Viet says, Grant, you start a GoFundMe <laughs> to buy the Niners from Jed. Here's five bucks. I think that's all five, 10 bucks. You know, we'll just take it to Vegas, put it on red about 800 times. When, <laughs> <laughs> a back lot to of money. back to back to back. We got it. How would Kyle react if you told him that's not a good enough answer? Media and the fans want real answers. It's an interesting question. I don't want dude. He would not take it well. He's oh, my dad man. would do it though. My dad. I know he would. Your dad. Would. Don't. I don't know. I don't think I could do that. Can man. we get your dad in the room one time, please? Is that still a thing? Is he this credentialed? Possible. Oh would my have gosh. To be, it would be like the Niners doing my dad a favor, and they're not trying to do favors. Like so, my dad can come in and grill their coach. You know, it's yeah. not. It's not, it's not that, uh, no, we'd, we'd be 0 and 5 without Debo. MVP needs to win. That's no, true. Debo, yeah, Debo's a good one. That is true. Debo's a good one. I guess I said not because he keeps drop, dropping the ball, but he is having a great year despite that. But the de the way I look at it is the defense is outperforming the offense, and Bosa is the reason why. Why does Bosa keep hurt hand after every tackle? I don't know. What I know he does it. Yeah, he's always rubbing his hand. Oh, huh. He's, he's always grabbing his wrist hand. or something. Yeah, I don't know. SV, thank you. All right, man, I, I I gotta go eat dinner and Jesse needs to probably go to bed because it's like eleven fifteen on the East Coast. Cause that's how we do Niners after dark. It just got real dark. Jesse, it's a great show, man. Absolutely. And if you Thank didn't you. subscribe to his <laughs> channel already, boom, make sure you do. I'm just saying listen, listen, here's the deal, everybody. My old channel got canceled. Long story, it's out there. You can check it out. You can hit me up, I'll tell you. Long story short. We had 3,000 subscribers or just under. We just had to start a new channel today. We are doing a giveaway up to $100 of your favorite fan gear. All you have to do is go watch the first video that I just put out. Comment on there that you have subscribed and you are entered to win. November 3rd is when we're doing the drawing. I appreciate everybody who supports and has gone on since we've been doing the show and subscribed. I really appreciate all of you. Well, all I want to say is you're now up to 441 subscribers. So that's a hey, good day. That is a good uh, day. Real quick, um, Brittany Brown is up here. She said, Grant, I'm calling you out. What did I do? What did what? I do? Calling me out. I'm calling you out. Brittany, Isn't she the one with the lash money? Do you prefer McDaniel presses over Shanahan's? Yeah, I do. Absolutely. Um, either though, either like McDaniel just kind of like politely filibusters while Kyle like um, impolitely uh, shuts down. So I guess I would go with the polite filibuster. 